Hello everyone, welcome to In 5 Minutes. In this video, we are going to solve one more sum that is based on impulse invariance transformation. It is kind of different because we have to use a partial fraction expansion form. Let us see the question. We have to find the h of z using the impulse invariance method for this function. Now looking at this function, the direct partial fraction expansion is not possible. We have to use some different way. So let us look on that. This expression can be expressed as s plus 0.5 s square plus 0.5 s plus 2 is equivalent to a upon s plus 0.5 plus bs plus c upon s square plus 0.5 s plus 2. So this is the equation. So let us obtain the values of a, b and c. Now we have to cross multiply. After cross multiplying we will get a into s square plus 0.5 s plus 2 plus s plus 0.5 into bs plus c that is equal to 1. Now we will expand these terms that is a s square plus 0.5 a s plus 2 a plus bs square plus b into 0.5 s plus c s plus 0.5 c that is equal to 1. Now we will take the terms common that is s square s and just constant terms. So after this we will get s square a plus b plus s into 0.5 a plus 0.5 b plus c plus 2a plus 0.5 c that is equal to 1. Now we can see that comparing the left hand side and the right hand side terms we get that there is no s square term on RHS. So s square term will be 0. So that indirectly means that a plus b is equivalent to 0. This is one equation. Then the second equation the s term is also not present. So we can also write as 0.5a plus 0.5b plus c is equivalent to 0. And if you compare this term and this term we know that constant is present on the right hand side. So finally we get as 2a plus 0.5c is equal to 1. Now we will solve these equations simultaneously. First we will write as b is equal to minus a. As substituting b is equal to minus a in this equation we will get 0.5 a minus 0.5 a plus c is equal to 0. That makes c is equal to 0. This is the first value. Again if c is equal to 0 we will substitute here. So 2a is equal to 1. So a becomes half. That is 0.5. And again if you know the a value b is equal to minus a. So it is like b is equal to minus 0.5. So we have solved the first part of the solution that is the partial fraction expansion. So we will write down using these values. That will be h of s is equal to 0.5 upon s plus 0.5 minus 0.5 s upon s square plus 0.5 s plus 2. We will need to express this term in the form of s plus a upon s plus a the whole square plus b square. So let us consider s square plus 0.5 s plus 2 is equal to s square plus 0.5 s plus 0.0625 plus 1.9375. Now we get that s plus 0.25 the whole square plus 1.39 the whole square. Now we will write this and substitute here. So we finally get 0.5 upon s plus 0.5 minus 0.5 s upon s plus 0.25 the whole square plus 1.39 the whole square. So now we can substitute or add or subtract 0.5 s and make much more modification to express the terms in the standard transformation formulas. So we have to bring this term into standard terms like we will do some modifications. So we will take 0.5 common here and we will add and subtract 0.25. So we will get s plus 0.25 minus 0.25 upon s plus 0.25 the whole square plus 1.39 the whole square. 